Hello everyone. In previous lecture, we have seen introduction and procedure for Gill Nielsen staining method. In today's lecture, we are going to study the various modifications of the Zn stain and the basic principle behind the Zn staining. I am Dr. S R Deshmukh from S H S Wal College, Arjuni Moor. So let us start the today's lecture. First, we see about the modifications of the Zn staining. In modifications, there are various aspect. So, first aspect is on the basis of the concentration of the HTSO4. So, these modifications include the first one is the use of the 5% HTSO4 instead of 20% HTSO4, which is basically used in the Zn stain, and that 5% is used for the Mycobacterium leprae. Second is 1% HTSO4 support that is used for the Nocardia species. And the third one is 0.5% HTSO4 support for bacterial spore. These are the basic three modifications based on the concentration of the HTSO4 support used. Now come to the next aspect that is use of the acid alcohol instead of the 20% HTSO4. Support. In the standard method, we are using the 20% HTSO4 support as a decolorizing agent. But we can also use the 3% SCL in 95% alcohol as a decolorizing agent and it is particularly for the mycobacterium tuberculosis. So it is most useful to differentiate the mycobacterium tuberculosis from the saprophytic mycobacteria because the M tuberculosis is not only acid fast, it is also alcohol fast. So it can be mentioned as the acid alcohol fast. While the, all the saprophytic species of the mycobacteria are acid fast only. So it will help us to differentiate the saprophytic species from the M. tuberculosis mycobacteria. Now let us come to the other concept that is third is the cold staining method. So this aspect is based on the heating of the primary stain that is the carbol function. In this method like quinoines method that is quinoines modification and gabets modification where the heat is not applied to the primary stain. Here in these methods the heat is not applied so the duration of the staining by its stain is increased instead of the heating. This is the modification that's why it is also called as the cold stain method. The one more is the another method which is it is the modification in the counter stain. The here instead of the methylene blue, we can use malachite green as a counter stain or picric acid as a counter stain. Where we can see the, the background in different color. If, if it is used as a malachite green that will be able to see the greenish background and if it is picric acid that will be able to see the yellowish background. While in case of this concept one more method has been introduced that is the modification of the Schiffer and Fulton staining method for staining the acid fast bacilli that is mycobacterium tuberculosis. Originally the Schiffer Fulton method which is introduced by Schiffer and Fulton in 1933 for bacterial endospore but this method was modified by SR Deshmukh to stain the acid fast bacilli and one of the most important aspect in this method is it omits the step of the decolorization by 20% HTSO4. Secondly, this method is as effective as the zeal nasal staining method. Let us see the how the bacteria are seen in this method. In this method, a B appear green in color, whereas the non-acid fast bacilli and other structures are seen pink in color. Now let us come to the basic principle behind the Zeal Nielsen staining technique. So in this case, the staining we basically is the differential staining technique where we differentiate the bacteria into two groups that is acid fast and non-acid fast on the basis of the color taken of by the organism. The pink color bacilli are referred as the acid fast while the blue color bacilli referred as the non-acid fast. So why these bacteria are acid fast? 
What is the reason behind this acid fastness? This is basically due to high content of the lipid, particularly the mycolic acid, and not only the mycolic acid, but also the higher alcohols which are present in the cell wall of the mycobacteria, which are responsible for the acid fastness of this organism. Basically, they contain the mycolic acid, a wax, and, and which is found in all acid fast bacteria that is responsible for the acid fastness of this organism. And this acid fastness is also depends on the integrity of the cell wall of the bacteria. Now, in this case, the basic function is basically used in phenolic form. This is because the basic function is more soluble in phenol than the water. And phenol in turn is more soluble in lipids or the waxes. That's why the carbolic solution of the basic function is preferred. And the heating process is done in this method. This is because it will facilitate the penetration, that is the easy penetration of the stain through the waxy cell wall of this mycobacteria. When the smear is stained with the carbol function, it gets solubilized in the lipid material which is present in the mycobacterial cell wall. And due to the application of the heat, the carbol function will penetrate through the lipidal wall and enters into the cytoplasm and will stain the bacteria pink in color. When the smear is decolorized with the decolorizing agent, the acid fast cells that will resist the decolorization due to the presence of this lipidal material in the cell wall. While the non-acid fast bacteria, they get easily decolorized and they take the counter stain that is methane blue and appear blue in color. So acid fast structure retain the primary stain, appear pink in color and non-acid fast bacteria, they lose the primary stain they get decolorized and then take the counter stain appear blue in color. So this was regarding the Zeden staining technique and here we complete the Zeden staining technique. Thank you.